Patrick and welcome back to Scout TV. Today we've got a couple videos that I'm pretty sure that you're going to like. The first one we found on the internet is how to make your own rocket, rocket propelled matchstick cannon. All you need is wooden clothes pegs, a sharp model knife and a box of matches or toothpicks. Check it out. This little pocket pistol will shoot a matchstick with power, blast toothpicks into fruit, and lob fiery darts over 20 feet away. In this project, we're turning your boring old clothespins into a powerful arsenal of desktop weaponry. All we need for this project is some wood glue, a utility knife, and a simple clothespin. Just make sure it's the wooden kind with the metal spring. All right, let's get started by pushing on the clothespin sideways so we can break the tension and remove the spring. Next, we'll need to hold the two wooden pieces back to back so the notches line up near the center like this. Now let's make a marking on the top piece about half an inch from the hole and an angled marking on the bottom that we'll cut out later. Now just for convenience, I've gone ahead and filled in all the areas that'll need to be chiseled out. So grab your utility knife and carefully carve out all the areas marked in blue. The long channel we just made here is going to be one half of our gun barrel. Let's go ahead and carve the other half into the bottom piece as well, then cut out a notch where we made that other mark earlier. With our two pieces cut and pressed together, you should have something that looks like this. Okay, it's time to make this permanent, so why don't we try using a dab of wood glue on a scrap piece of paper. Then carefully slide the pieces through it, giving them both an even coating. Now simply press the two sides together, wiping away any excess glue, and let it sit for a bit. After about 5 to 10 minutes, it should be just strong enough for us to attach the spring. Push one end of the spring into the inner chamber, and hook the other end over the outside notch. With the spring in place, your pocket gun is finished and ready for action. All we need now are some wooden matchsticks that we could use as ammunition, and they should slide loosely into the barrel. You can see that as we continue pushing the match, the gun cocks itself automatically and is instantly ready to fire. You can hold it just like a little pistol, and when you're ready to shoot, simply pull the trigger. It's amazing to see just how much power is stored in the spring. That's evident by how it slams forward in just a fraction of a second, blasting our projectile over 20 feet away. Now let's see if this can work with toothpicks as well. If we snap off one of the sharp ends, it exposes a broader surface, which just might work. Why don't we go ahead and test it out on an apple? You can see that from a distance of about 6 inches, there's just enough power to impale the surface. Of course, the closer you are, the deeper it penetrates, and it's impressive to see the results are all fairly consistent. Now I went ahead and put together a whole battery of these tabletop toys, and experimented with different ways to handle and fire them. I discovered a technique for lighting the matches first, then lobbing the fiery darts high into the air, which of course should only be done outdoors and with adult supervision. You're on, Patrick. Nice. That looks like fun, but I think I'll get one of the scouts to make me one of those. The next clip is one of ours. It's a Scout TV mini documentary, and it shows you that Venturers can do pretty much anything. It's action packed and filled with drama, but you'll have to watch it to find out what happens. I told you not to leave the door open. What is wrong with you? Oh, the, the door. door open. Yes, you left the, the door, door open. open. Do you even know what that means? She's probably gone over the cliff. Yeah. Down the cliff. You're so useless. Oh what is wrong with you? Oh my God. You can have you even called anybody yet? Guys, what's wrong? This idiot's left the door open, now my Susie's gone out, out over the cliff.
Happy jacket? Yep. Pretty awesome stuff. Adventurers saving the day again. Well, that's all we've got for today. But don't you worry. You can check out the Scout TV YouTube channel for heaps more videos and live streams. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Patrick. Stay tuned for more next week. See you later. Hi, we've got a game for you, and it's a night game. It's going to be a little bit hard for you to see, so lift the brightness up on your television set. But it's fun, isn't it, Andy? What's it called? This game.